Namaste, beloved. The divinity in us acknowledges and welcomes and honors the divinity in you. Wow, oh, welcome to this global healing meditation. And uh, we've got such a fabulous month prepared for everybody. We've, we've just loved coming out of the month of more and we'll obviously be doing more of that <laughs> and uh, the month of momentum is now started and I think this momentum is something very important with your spiritual growth because with your spiritual growth um, it's really easy to allow the ego mind to shut us down when things get tough uh, it's easy to slide backwards and really negate a lot of the growth that we have made in so many lifetimes together. And in this lifetime, know that this is the one where you have agreed to be here, to be a powerful agent for good and to serve not only your own highest and best, but the highest and best of humanity. This is an agreement you've made because you would not be here in this incredible time if you hadn't made that agreement. And uh, today, Daniel's been doing some research about resourcefulness and resources. And I just love what he's come up with. So welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody. Please keep yourself muted throughout the meditation. And we will give you the opportunity to unmute at the end of this so that you can share what you're feeling, what you're going through, um, anything at, at all that you want to share. Wow, so take a deep breath, breathing deeply. Be aware of the breath going in and moving the body and the breath going out and moving the body. Making sure your phones are off and that you're sitting comfortably in your favorite chair, your couch, lying on the bed or the floor, wherever it is. Keeping your back straight. And allowing all outside influences to drop away from you, which means closing your eyes. And going into that feel of divine energy deep within you. So imagine yourself now going back and down with every breath you take, every sound you hear, every sentence and quote that Daniel reads to you allows you to go deeper and deeper more and more relaxed. Breathing in and letting go. Mm, feeling so good. Just allowing yourself this time to go within. Allowing yourself this time to free yourself from any of the constraints that your stories may have placed upon you. And dropping all attachment to every story, belief, perception, and projection. Mm, yes, <laughs> continue this breath work as you drop 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 down deeper into the inner realms of your true self mm, feeling so good and allowing daniel's voice to take you deeper and deeper more and more relaxed Momentum is not only about your resources, it's especially about your resourcefulness, which can optimize 
whatever resources are at hand. Rashid Ogunmaru said, just because a door appears closed doesn't mean it's locked, nor that it will not open with the right heart, call, or touch. Manjati Bhattacharya said, we may not be able to control the events, but we can always control our response to them. We need to ensure that our perspective is an empowering and resourceful one. Anthony Iannarino said, embrace the empowering belief that you can always find a way. Resourceful people know that even though a solution may not be immediately obvious, it probably exists. Continue to breathe deeply, breathing in and breathing out as Daniel now reads some Rumi quotes. Where there is truth, there is hope for a treasure. Where there is ruin, there is hope for a treasure. Stop acting so small. You are the universe in ecstatic motion. You were born with wings. Why prefer to crawl through life? Everything in the universe is within you. Ask all from yourself. Don't be satisfied with stories, how things have gone with others. Unfold your own myth. Continuing to breathe deeply, going down, 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 more and more relaxed. so good as your wings spread beneath your feet. Feeling lighter, more joy, more wonder. Knowing that you, beloved, have the resources. Are you willing in this month of momentum to be resourceful, to tap into the wisdom, the divine guidance that is at your fingertips? Now I want you to imagine something that has challenged you. So during this meditation, just some little thing that may have challenged you, triggered you, created pain or suffering. And as you do this, a column of white light comes in and down and through you. Yes, your true self expands out from the center of your being, from the heavens and the middle of the earth. The divinity and perfection that you are Your true self is your resourceful inner guidance that aligns you with the answers that you need to move beyond any challenge or trigger. Just for the next few months, as you continue to be aware of your breath, moving your body in and out. Ask your true self now, 
What do I need to hear to bring me to a place of peace? Your true self is your greatest resource and center for resourcefulness. Continuing to be aware of the inflow and the outflow of your breath. As every one of your cells aligns to the divine wisdom that is deep within you. This wisdom that says you are enough, you can trust and walk through this world with confidence as the perfect divine light that you are. You can trust that everything is unfolding as it should for you even if it doesn't feel like it at the time. This field that your true self creates within you. In this moment, there is nothing you need to get, give, or do to be complete. You are already that which you have been seeking. The abundance, the love, the joy, the wonder. The reason you came onto this planet to experience life and love in a body. Breathing in, 
then breathing out. And just for a moment, Daniel and I are going to allow all that we are to move into your room, into your home, put our energy hands on your head. As you go deeper and deeper, more and more relaxed, allowing this divine energy to move through the brain into the body, the body in its own wisdom using this energy to heal, to make whole. If there are any cancer cells, rogue cells, viruses, overblown bacteria, all of this white light divine energy of your true self and of this transmission now, diminishing their effects and allowing all thought forms that have created them to go out and down, cleared through all of time and space, deleted from your bodies, from your minds and from your souls. It might not just be our hands that some of you feel on your head. It could be your guardian angels and angels, divine beings, who love and adore you. Who use this portal of meditation that we co-create together around the world. To touch you. To love you. To let you know that you are not alone. You have never been alone. in our realms, welcoming you home. The true self activating your heart center. And this beautiful connection with the brain. The body coming into heart brain coherence. All of your systems working perfectly in support of your 
longevity, strength, health, wound healing. Themselves expelling anything that does not serve them, allowing them to come out and down. And as you feel the touch of the God within of your source, as you recognize you for who you really are. The oxytocin that's being kept in your, the pharmacy of your brain is now releasing, moving into your system, feeling the love, feeling the wonder and the joy of who you are. You are loved by the most important person on this planet, you. You are loved by more of who you are, the world. Allowing the love that you are from your heart to activate the oxytocin, the chemicals of love and joy, of healing and wonder, to move from the brain into the body, flowing through your body now. Your heart's resourcefulness, activating healing. Clearing your veins of all plaque. And as your true self continues to expand out and down and through you, this white light becomes a shower of light. Any stories that have kept you in the dark or on the ground that have kept you from flying into this incredible momentum and more that you deserve, Now this white light showering them out and down out of your system. All of those programs, perceptions, beliefs and stories. Moving out of your field into the ultraviolet light at your feet, being transmuted, healed and sent back to source. Continue this clearing process happening organically, naturally, without you having to do anything as we have commanded it so. All that you are relaxing into the wonder of this truth. Keep me in this place of trust and confidence. To allow my platinum superpowers to expand, to grow.
as I'm constantly mastering the state of peace. of awareness, of trust, of integrity. And breathing in just for the next few moments, allowing yourself to just go to that next level of depth of connection. now in this love. The cells letting go of the past. Recognize this space and this place as your home base. And as you move through your days and nights, keep your intention clear on the truth of who you are with everything that you say and that you do. Remember this state of being. It's your first and natural choice. Taking a deep breath in, breathing deeply, letting it go. Another big deep breath and pushing it out at the end, breathing in. And just mm, stretching out your body like a big cat or a dog. Just allowing that relaxation, that love, that wonder to continue to spread through you and around you as you open your eyes and come back into the room. We've been into our spiritual filling station and topped up to the brim. Our bodies, minds and souls now ready for another week of love and joy and fun in everything that we do. And would anybody like to share what they felt or how they're feeling? You can unmute yourself or you can write it in the chat.
Yeah, Sherry said she felt her wings stretch into glorious freedom, expansion. That's it. We become so contracted by our stories, by our intellect, by our projections, that it's really, um, it's that relief of expanding beyond them that feels so good. Anybody else like to unmute yourself? Robin says it's beautiful. Thank you. Linda went the deepest you've been. Felt the wings and felt her angels. That's beautiful, Linda. <laughs> We've, uh, we know, like when I say you might feel I'm more than our hands, we uh, were doing a program in Brisbane. I think there were about 80 people or something. And we had one of Carol and Mesa's uh, intuitives with us. She's the woman that does the, um, has the, what is it, for intuitives? She has a school for intuitives. School, yes. And uh, one of them was with us and she said, I'm just going to sit on the <clears throat> side and watch what takes place as you're giving people this energy. And uh, she said it was quite incredible, even though our bodies got up off the chair and we were going one by one around the room. She said, Sandra, your essence stayed in the chair and acted like a canopy over the room and it just filled the whole room. And Daniel split off into like seven different people and was, was kind of putting his hands on seven different people all at the one time. And all of these incredible things were happening. And she said, wow. Um, uh, and obviously then she wanted us to come and give her the energy, but that's why I say to you, that you won't just feel our hands, you might feel the hands of others uh, because it's, it's so much fun, isn't it, when you connect on an energetic level. Sarah says, thank you, felt the support behind you, yeah. Bhavani, thank you, you needed to drop within and experience the stillness. Yeah, I felt that about you today, Bhavani, that you needed that stillness. And you look beautiful in that red, by the way, with that white hair and red dress, I love it. Um, Carol Ann, beautiful meditation. Thank you, Linda, so amazing. Anybody else? Badra, would you like to share how you felt? You can unmute yourself. Yes, I, I was having trouble even putting into words how I was feeling, but I just was feeling so um, contracted before, and now I just feel so light and expanded, and it was so deep, and it just it felt like I lost track of time while we were there yeah, yeah the time seemed to, seemed to expand or something yeah it was very interesting wasn't it oh, i'm glad yeah. you felt that too i was definitely feeling that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you anybody else like to unmute yourself i do yes how hello much, hello how much of this does one get if one falls asleep oh uh, you get it all because even in your sleep, the unconscious is still working. It's still listening. It's still taking in everything. So you will still get the peace. We've still come into your home and put our hands on your head, giving you the transmission of energy. Um, it just means that you've gone very, very, very deep within. And it just means that you needed to as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have, we have a healing circle in our home every Thursday night. And believe me, it is so, the energy is so strong. It's like... Like when we come out of it, we almost feel like we've been asleep, even if we have or we haven't. So it's, you you haven't missed out on a thing. <laughs> Good to know? Yes. Good. Okay. You're welcome. Rena, I'm missing your beautiful spirits and healing energy. Yes, Rena. Uh, Lee. Ree, Ree says we're uh, on day two of the Platinum Life Code Break and Redirect. All negative programs to the pure positive have experienced tremendous shifts. Yes, that's exactly right. Um, Carol, very powerful, thank you. Felt a lot of angels around it. There's a lot of angelic beings, wasn't there? Uh, Leanne, today was a biggie for her, for trust, yes. Being able to discern between my divine mind and ego mind. Love my state of being. This is very important. Um, Lorraine's just brought up something very important that you need to discern where your guidance is coming from. Is it from the divine mind? You know, that incredible inner 
bigger part of you, your true self, or is it from the ego mind? And if the guidance triggers any form of fear, negativity or pain or would do that for anybody else, it's not divine guidance, just so you know. Divine guidance will only ever uplift and support you and everyone else around you. Good question. Same super contracted previously felt like wings again, Sarah. Patricia, my brother crossed over on Friday. Um, as you and Daniel were placing your hands on our heads, he came in to give me light. So very peaceful. Yes, and um, Patricia, we're just sending you and him so many, so many love and blessings. And uh, what's interesting about that is that we know that a lot of people who have passed over family and friends are actually, they do come and join us during these circles, like uh, during this uh, meditations in our healing one on uh, Thursday nights, truly you can hardly move in the room. There are so many people who have come in from spirit to be with us to can continue to grow from that realm. Um, thank you again, another wonderful experience. This is great. Well, we just love you all. We're so glad that you were here. Um, and remember that we've also got, um, we've, hang on, let me just put this back onto Spotlight. Uh, we've also, this, this coming uh, Saturday afternoon, we have got our first live session in the Platinum Life Program, Manifest Your Abundant Reality. And I want to say welcome to Bhavani, Bhadra, to anybody else on here, but yes, <laughs> on here, who's going to be joining us for the program. And uh, we felt the huge shift. The modules were delivered like Sunday night, Monday, and Monday I was like, oh, I couldn't get out of bed. The energy was so powerful, wasn't it? We were like, whoa. And uh, we do make the promise to you that when you're in a program like this, that, that energetically, spiritually, we're with you 24 seven throughout the whole two months. And you can expect miracles on every level. And transformation, by the way, this is not an inspirational experience. It is a transformational experience. So every brave soul that says yes to themselves, it may be that there will be times where you have to have a glass of warm milk and a nap. There could be, it could be times where you have to do that. It could be times where you need to uh, walk out the door and ground yourself, like get to a beach or, a, or whatever. Uh, which we have to do every day because this energy is coming in so powerfully at the moment. And every time we do this program, it, it's the next level. It's never what it was 20 years ago. It's what it is now, 2021. So uh, everybody, if you're ready for um, a, an incredible spiritual experience, then you're ready for the Platinum Life program. And if you haven't registered yet, you still can register with 50% off right up until the uh, Saturday morning when the call is at 3 p.m. So that's super exciting. Um, let's see. Coconut milk then, much better. Exactly. <laughs> or almond milk. <laughs> I came into the meditation. This is um, Jay Donahue feeling fearful and angry, wrestling with unhealthy family entanglements. The meditation has soothed much of that and brought it back her back to my tender heart and the sadness this is underneath the fear and anger thank you uh thank you and i want to thank each and every one of you because when we hear things like that when when people are vulnerable and they share we know that the reason for us you know being able to get together as a global healing meditation group is so that we can pull our resources and energy and create a powerful field of love that is so great that it does things like that, that it brings in your loved ones that have come to be healed during the meditation, that it, that it heals and dissipates and neutralizes the anger, the disappointment and, the, and whatever it is that's going on in the body. So to each and every one of you, a huge thank you for showing up and a huge thank you for showing up and sharing this with your friends and family, because we have dedicated this, this particular meditation to healing and ending suffering. 
which actually everything we do is really dedicated to that, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> and thank you for those roomy quotes, by the way. They were so fantastic. Yeah. We love you and uh, can't wait to see you again. I did try and do this Facebook Live, by the way, into the Activate Abundance group and it didn't kick me out. So that meditation might be in there. However, this one was so beautiful. I just want to tell you that I got the guidance during it that I'm going to get um, our tech guy to put music to this one, to take out any background noise and put some music to it because there were beautiful long spaces of silence where the music can take you down even lower. So we're going to get some music on that one there. Okay, we love you and I uh, can't wait to be with you again. Thank you. And thanks, Deb Cooper. It was magical, wasn't it? Love you. <laughs>